I'm Chris Rogers, Director of STEM Education for Florence One Schools, and we would like to welcome you to the Florence One STEM Bus. And for the last few years, we have been taking the STEM Bus all throughout our district. It's been to elementary, middle, and high schools, uh, exposing kids to different types of STEM activities that we have on the bus. And one of the ones that we're going to focus on with you today is our Z-Space program. The Z-Space experience puts kids into a 3D experience. It actually makes them feel like they're inside the computer. So it really grabs their attention. They want to learn. They wear the glasses and they use the stylus to control and move things all across the screen. So it's very interactive, um, very hands-on, and kids just love the experience it gives them. Z-Space is an educational tool. It's not just a video game. I mean, it actually teaches kids um, as early as, let's say, kindergarten with learning their letters, um, how, to move, how to identify letters, what those letters sound like. It has headphones where they can hear those kinds of things. They can actually move things on the screen to show the teacher they understand what letter they're looking at or whatever they're doing. So it, it provides that hands-on experience that the, the kids love, and it provides the opportunity for teachers to see, are my kids understanding what I'm teaching? What we've been doing is exposing our children to the Z-Space. They've uh, been able to experience that with the, when the STEM bus comes. So now we're trying to bring that into the classroom. Uh, teachers um, can get trained in that through me. Um, I am a trainer with Z-Space now. And once they do that, they can check out Z-Space computers from me. We can bring them into the classroom um, and kids can experience a whole new way of learning the subjects that their teachers are teaching them. The Z-Space station, whenever you use this in your classroom, like I said, you'll have a laptop version. Um, we have glasses that go with it. And then they have their stylus that they use. Um, the new computers that are coming out that we're getting, we have ordered that are on the way, you don't need the glasses anymore. So those little kindergartners, first graders, very good for them. As soon as they turn the screen on, it's automatically already in 3D. So that's really, really cool to see. And so the, the kids get to use the stylus and maneuver things all around yeah, on the new ones, just like they do the ones that we currently have. So far, we're seeing kids who, who love the ability to work with Z-Space. We have had some of our classroom teachers that have gone through training, use the Z-Space in their classroom. Kids are dying to get their hands on it. Uh, we've had some uh, of our younger grades use it as a, a station in the back of the room uh, where the teacher set up some lessons and they are really encouraged and want to get out there and do the Z-Space in that computer station. And we have teachers who are starting to use it on the smart board where they can expose kids to the Z-Space all at one time. The Z-Space is a, is a as a tool to help you get the instruction across to your students. It's not a tool that we're trying to take over as an entire curriculum, but it's an enhancement tool to the curriculum. Um, it's a way for your kids to be engaged in the classroom, and it's a way for you as a teacher to see my kids are engaged, but they're also understanding what it is that I'm wanting them to, to get as I've done, done my instruction. And we want teachers to use these in the classroom. So we encourage you, your kids, when they go, the STEM bus comes, they love it. So we want to get teachers learning how it works so that we can start getting it in the hands of the kids in the classroom and not just on the STEM bus. Uh, once they go through the training, I show them how to go in, find lessons that relate to the subject that they're teaching. The teacher gets to go in and play around and use the program a little bit and then bring that to their kids uh, where they get to experience that, that lesson. Um, the lesson kind of comes to a conclusion where they have work that they submit. They can submit the work electronically uh, through Google Classroom or they can do um, pen and paper, pencil paper, whatever they need to do to turn in to show the teachers that they understood the work they did in Z-Space for that day. Well, teachers, we hope that you will want to use this piece of technology in your classroom. Um, as you know, when, when, when kids are paying attention, um, they're getting the material, they're gonna be uh, much better learners. Uh, this is gonna grab their attention right to begin with. Um, it's gonna give you a tool that you can assess walking around in the classroom and seeing what kids are doing and also have them submit work to you. So it's a great way of making sure kids understand, but at the same time, the learning just comes to life when it comes off that screen. With the Z-Space program that we have in Florence One, kids are experiencing Z-Space on the STEM bus when it comes to your school. Um, teachers, if you're interested in being trained in Z-Space, um, I'll be doing different trainings where you can be trained. Once you are trained, then you can let, uh, get with me uh, to check out a Z-Space computer 
I will get with you and um, get that to your, hopefully get that to your classroom, show you how to get it connected to your smart board, however it is that you want to do, so you can start presenting lessons to your students.